हेलो करिश्मा हेलो शबाना अखिलेश गुड आफ्टरनून टू टुडे वी आर अगेन टॉकिंग अबाउट डिस्कस अबाउट इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म्स फाइनेंशियल सेक्टर रिफॉर्म्स अभी तक हम लोग मैं डॉक्टर प्रतिमा त्रिवेदी आप लोग तो जानते हैं हम लोग पिछले क्लास में मिल चुके हैं तो इकोनॉमिक सेक्टर रिफॉर्म्स में अभी तक हम लोगों ने देखा था कि 91 से एक्चुअली क्या है कि इकोनॉमिक सेक्टर रिफॉर्म्स तो आपके इंडिपेंडेंस से ही शुरू हो गए थे लेकिन जो मेन हमारा इकोनॉमिक सेक्टर रिफॉर्म्स शुरू हुआ है वो 91 से इट इज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम 91 तो 91 से हम इसको काउंट करते हैं व्हेन इट वाज नरसिम्हा राव गवर्नमेंट एंड मनमोहन सिंह वाज फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर तो when we are talking about uh, financial sector reform is it also started from 91 when the simman committee uh, uh, formed uh, to look after this financial sector reform uh, and uh, it jo uh, given its recommendations So, as a part of the process of liberalization and globalization of the Indian economy, the financial sector reforms were introduced in 1990s, as I have told you. Uh, Alternatively, uh, uh, aligning the financial sector, uh, financial system, uh, uh, from the business of development, the financial sector plays a crucial role in the economic development. so in order to carry out an extensive analysis of the banking sector reforms we come on the objectives of uh, this bank uh, financial sector reforms what were the objectives so there were mainly three objectives if you want to note down you can note down um, side by side what do you want to note down uh, first was the uh, to assess the status of working of public sector bank the public sector ke bank the unke status ko review um, unki working ko dekhne ke liye to uh, assess karne ke liye uh, ek to ye objective tha inke samne and second objective was to assess the need or banking sector reforms and the third objective was to analyze the major recommendations of narsimham committee to improve the performance of the indian banking system so narsimham committee was the uh, committee uh, formed uh, set up for banking sector reform or financial sector reforms uh, so would you like to note down some points of narsimham committee report Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes
with operations confined to a specific regions. And the fourth point the, uh, for the restructuring of banking system is rural banks with operations confined to rural areas, rural banks with operations confined to rural areas and business confined to agriculture and allied activities. In the second point, one uh, recommendations of Narsimong Committee, enhancement of capital base of bank, enhancement of capital base of bank. In which capital, uh, committee recommended that the banks should be follow allowed to raise banks should be allowed to raise fresh capital from the public fresh capital from the public mutual funds profitable public sector units and employees can also subscribe to these issues. And what was, uh, was the position uh, of commercial banks? The commercial bank should achieve a minimum of 4% capital adequacy ratio in relation to commercial banks achieve a minimum of 4% capital adequacy ratio in relation to risk weighted assets by March 1990. It was the position on March by March 1993 and 8% by March 1996. It was raised to 8% from 4% to 8% from in March 1996. And the third was, third recommendation was deregulation of interest rates. Deregulation of interest rates. The committee recommended deregulation of interest rate on a large uh, uh, and uh, interest rate on loan as well as uh, they uh, select the actual market conditions. The interest rate on government borrowings may also be gradually deregulated. So, uh, and fourth was the abolition of licensing which was the major part of economic reforms. Evolution of licensing. The Narthibam committee, uh, committee supposed to further nationalization of banks. It proposed for nationalization of banks. So, you can see that the nationalization of bank of Pensacola, it recommended evolution of branch licensing. There was a system of branch licensing. If there is a branch, it is um, it needed, needed a license for, to run it. And uh, Narsimum Committee recommended the abolition of license. And fifth point was cut in SLR and CRR. Cut in SLR and CRR. SLR is statutory liquidity ratio and CRR, you know, cash reserve ratio. 
and sixth point was the the committee favored are putting an end to dual control over banks the committee favored are putting an end to dual control over banks of by rbi and banking divisions it suggested that rbi should be the primary agency for regulations rbi should be the primary agency for regulations seven point was the committee favored scrapping of prior approval of government the committee favored scrapping of prior removal of government of securities exchange board of india jisko sebi ke naam se jante hain securities exchange board of india for any issue in the market and it also recommended that the issuing committee should be free to decide on the nature of the instrument in terms of lending next is foreign bank should be next in the point is foreign banks should be subject to same requirements as applicable to indian banks it means they should be permitted to open offices in india as branches or a subsidiaries and the next is computerization of bank operations computerization of bank operations need to be stepped up and make the committee also proposed the committee also proposed that its directed credited program should be phased out the priority sector should be redefined to compromise small to marginal farmers the priority sector should be redefined to com comprise small and marginal farmers the tiny sector of industry village and cottage industries rural artisans small business and other weak other weak sections the credit target for this group should be fixed to 10% of the aggregate credit aggregate credit ka 10% inke liye अलॉट कर दिया गया अलॉट करने का रिकमेंडेशन की गई है 
a special tribunal should be set up to make over should be a special tribunal should be set up to speed up the process of recovery or overdue loan and the 12th and last point an asset reconstruction and asset reconstruction fund should be set up to make over bad and doubtful debts bad and doubtful debts of the of banks and financial institutions so these are the recommendations of uh, narsimham committee of 91 which was set up in 91 and again the narsimham committee was uh, uh, again set up in uh, 1996 which has given 70 points to uh, reform the uh, financial sector so uh, these are very short in one line uh, so if you want to note down the which was set up uh, and is submitted its report in Uh, 1998 narsimham committee which sub submitted its report in 1998 uh, and the first major reforms introduced uh, was crr first was the crr was gradually lowered crr cash reserve ratio was gradually lowered from it speak at 15% the before crr were 15% during pre reform year to 4.5% in june 2003 yani it has cut from 15% to 4.5% in june 2003 and the next point slr was it was reduced from its peak of slr statutory liquidity uh, reserves was ratio was reduced from its peak of 38.5% during 1990s 38.5% during 1990 to 25% in recent years 25% in recent years and third is prime uh, prime lending rates of banks for commercial credit prime lending rates of banks for commercial credit are now entirely within the purview of the banks and not set up by the rbi previously they were set up by the rbi and now they are fully in the purview of the commercial banks the rate of saving accounts and rates of interest on export credit the rate of saving accounts and rates of interest on export credit are still subject to regulation with effect from april 2001 
and SLR has been converted to a benchmark. SLR has been converted to a benchmark rate for banks rather than treating it as the minimum rate rather than treating it as the minimum rate. Fourth point, bank rate has been reduced from 8% to 6% effective from April 2003. मतलब उन्होंने 98 में अपनी रिकमेंडेशन दी थी और उन्होंने कहा था कि दो 2003 अप्रैल से ये बैंक रेट जो है 6 परसेंट कर दी जाएगी 8 परसेंट से घटा करके 6 परसेंट इसके भी अपने फायदे थे बैंक रेट को कम करने के भी कि कैसे सेविंग्स को बढ़ावा मिलेगा इससे और उसको कैसे इकोनॉमी के डेवलपमेंट में इस्ते� Next is the capital adequacy ratio has been raised to nine percent. Has been raised to nine percent from March two thousand for all banks. जिसको C A के नाम से जानते हैं capital adequacy ratio C A R Next rate of interest on saving deposits of commercial banks, rate of interest of on saving deposits of commercial banks was reduced from 4.5% in 1980. to 3.5 percent prudential accounting forms have been introduced since 1992-93 in 1993 rbi issued guidelines in 1993 rbi reduced uh, um, rbi issued guidelines for licensing of new banks in the private sector for licensing of new bank in the private sector it has granted licenses to 10 banks which are currently in business it had uh, granted licenses to 10 banks which are currently in business fresh guidelines for licensing new banks fresh guidelines for licensing new banks were issued in january 2000 these guidelines mainly provided that these guidelines mainly provided that initial minimum capital initial minimum capital shall be raised from rupees 2000 crore to rupees 3000 crore initial minimum capital shall be raised from rupees 2000 crore to rupees 
3000 crore. Contribution of promoters shall be contribution of promoters shall be a minimum of 40% of the paid up capital. Contribution of promoters shall be a minimum of 40% of the paid up capital of the bank at any point of time. The contribution of 40% shall be logged in for five years. The contribution of 40% shall be logged in for five years from the date of licensing of the banks. From the date of licensing of the banks. While argumenting capital to rupees 300 crores within three years, while argumenting augmenting capital to rupees 300 crore within three years, promoters shall bring promoters shall bring in at least 40% of the fresh capital. Promoters shall bring in at least 40% of the fresh capital. Huh? मैम आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही है मैडम ज्वाइन हो गई हो श्रुति जी ज्वाइन हो गए एक सोनाली जी भी कह रही हैं उनको भी ज्वाइन नहीं कर पा रही हैं कुछ वजह से जी सर मैं ज्वाइन हो चुकी हूं अच्छा ओके 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 मेरी आवाज आ रही है यस मैम ओके While augmenting capital to rupees 3000 crore within three years, promoters shall bring in at least 40% uh, of the fresh capital, which will also, also be logged for, uh, up in for five years. 
NRI participation in the primary equity, NRI participation in the primary equity of a new bank shall be to the maximum extent of 40%. परसेंट मतलब जो एन आर आई का पार्टिसिपेशन था उसको भी फोर्टी परसेंट तक मैक्सिमम कर दिया गया एंड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट टेंथ पॉइंट पे आते हैं सेलेक्टिव क्रेडिट कंट्रोल्स सेलेक्टिव क्रेडिट कंट्रोल्स विच पर्टेन टू रेगुलेशन ऑफ क्रेडिट सेलेक्टिव क्रेडिट कंट्रोल्स विच पर्टेन टू रेगुलेशन ऑफ क्रेडिट फॉर स्पेसिफिक परपजेस स्पेसिफिक परपजेस हैव बीन एबॉलिश्ड हैव बीन एबॉलिश्ड इन द पास्ट लिबरलाइज पीरियड इन द पोस्ट लिबरलाइज पीरियड पोस्ट लिबरलाइज पीरियड में इसको एबॉलिश कर दिया गया पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक को भी एनकरेजमेंट का प्रोविजन रखा गया था इसमें कि पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक एनकरेज टू अप्रोच द पब्लिक टू रेज रिसोर्सेस जितने ज्यादा रिसोर्सेस पब्लिक का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन जितना ज्यादा हो सके उतना ज्यादा उसको बढ़ाने का प्रावधान रखा गया था recovery of debts recovery of debt due to banks and other financial institutions act financial institutions act 1993 was passed and a special recovery ट्रिब्यूनल्स वर सेटअप स्पेशल रिकवरी ट्रिब्यूनल्स वर सेटअप टू फैसिलिटेट कुकर रिकवरी ऑफ लोन्स एरियर्स लोन्स देना ही काफी नहीं था उसकी रिकवरी भी जरूरी होती थी और रिकवरी के लिए भी एक ट्रिब्यूनल सेटअप किया गया banks have been asked to set up next is banks have been asked to set up assets liability management a l m assets liability management systems rbi has issued guidelines RBI has issued guidelines for risk management system in banks and encompassing in banks and encompassing credit market and operational risk credit and compassing credit market and operational risk next one is a credit information bureau a credit information bureau is being established is being established to identify bad risk to identify bad risk next is derivative products derivative products such as forward rate ag agreement such as forward rate agreement and interest rate 
interest rate traps have been introduced have been introduced next is other major other measures include the moving or relaxing credit restrictions relaxing or removing credit restrictions for purchase of consumer durable for purchase of consumer durable as largely the coverage of priority sector enlarging the coverage of priority sector to include software to include software agro processing industries and agro processing industries and venture capital and the last one is to supervise the working of commercial banks to supervise the working of commercial banks department of supervision has been set up department of supervision has been set up in 1993 and board of financial supervision in 1994 and board of financial supervision in 1994 in the reserve bank of india but uh, these are the recommendations of both of the narsimham committee first was set up in 1991 and second was set up in uh, 1996 and working from uh, it submitted its report in 1998 so um, but uh, these recommendations uh, uh, works Uh, with the permission of planning commission with the coordination of planning commission without planning commission it is not it will not take in, into full action now uh, i want to tell you subject uh, status what was the status of banking system the banking system in india was long characterized to control the uh, uh, to control an entry and expansion administers interest rate interest allocation of credit for a specific sector and varying deposits and allocation of um, along with the allocation of uh, credit to special sectors uh, to and set up uh, some interest rate and concessions and jab bhi hum financial sector reforms ki baat karte hain to usme जो हमारा बैंकिंग सेक्टर है और स्पेशली जो हमारे ये तो पता ही है कि कमर्शियल बैंक्स जो हैं उनका मेन रोल रहता है इन द केस ऑफ कमर्शियल बैंक बोथ द डिपॉजिट्स रेट एंड लेंडिंग रेट्स वर रेगुलेटेड अंटिल रिसेंटली द रेट एट विच कारपोरेट एंटिटीज कुड बारो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिवेंचर्स was also regulated not only regulated deposit rates not only regulated 
ఇండియా over the years altered to the requirements of borrowers in agriculture along with agriculture industry as well as service sectors because not only borrowing borrowings were not only for agriculture they were for agriculture industry as well as service sector आजकल आप देख रहे हैं कि सर्विस सेक्टर हमारा जो है वो भी बहुत फ्लरिश कर रहा है जैसा हमने अपने पिछले उसमें बताया था कि सर्विस सेक्टर जो है वो बहुत तेजी के साथ फ्लरिश कर रहा है तो सर्विस सेक्टर के लिए भी बरोइंग्स की बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत होती है लोन्स की जरूरत होती है विच भी अवर बैंक प्रोवाइडेड लोन्स टू सर्विस फॉर सर्विस सेक्टर द इंडियन बैंकिंग सेक्टर सर also suffered from some drawbacks what are the those drawbacks uh, the first drawback uh, which our banking sector is facing that is low productivity and inefficiency low productivity and inefficiency and uh, poor consumer services sickness is when banking institutions low capital base of commercial banks and deterioration in portfolio quality uh, and we can say lack of sufficient modernization and introduction of information technology low technology uh, they are also facing low, um, a problem of low technology and systematic instability to deal with the these drawbacks several several regulatory uh, measures have been introduced in the indian banking system since the mid 1980 ye 80 ke samay jo hai hamare yahan banking system mein improvement hue the so banking development ka jo expansion hua tha expansion mein sabse pehle ye dekha gaya ki number of ब्रांड बेंचेस पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक जो पब्लिक सेक्टर के बैंक्स थे उनकी इंक्लूडिंग रिजर्व बैंक तो पब्लिक सेक्टर के बैंक 1969 में दे वन सेवेंटी 173 एंड 93 में uh, 272 हो गए थे और 2003 में टू एटी एट तो यहाँ थोड़ा इसमें इम्प्रूवमेंट हुआ था टोटल ब्रांचेस वर एट टू जीरो टू इन सिक्सटी नाइन एंड मतलब इनकी अपनी ब्रांचेस जो थी वो कितनी हो गई थी एंड सिक्स थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी इन नाइन्टी वन एंड सिक्स थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी नाइन इन टू थाउजेंड थ्री If we are talking about share of rural branches, how many rural branches in percentage? So, uh, its percentage was of rural branches were twenty two point two percent in nineteen sixty nine and fifty eight point seven percent in ninety one and fifty seven point two percent. It was declined in two thousand three. and the population per office population was 64 in 60 uh, per per thousand population was 64 and it was declined uh, to 14 and 16 total deposit rupees in crore uh, in 1969 it was 4446 and uh, 21199 in 
and 2000 in 2003 it was 18000 increased to 18000 and uh, total credit rupees in crore it was uh, 399 in 1969 and 21,865 in 91 and 29,215 in 90, 2003. So these are the some data on per capita deposit. If we talk about per capita deposit, per capita deposit was 88 in uh, 69 and uh, three, uh, 2368 in 91 and 4291 in 2003. Per capita credit, it was 68 in 69 and 434 and then 254. Nestle's bank as a whole showed huge losses Amount uh, amounting to rupees eight thousand three hundred fifty four crore during two years, following the reforms in ninety two ninety four. For the public public sector banks, issues amounted to a somewhat smaller rupees seven thousand one hundred seventy seven crore on account. Of the profit rupees six thousand uh, oh sorry six six seven crore of the State Bank of India group. Only six banks of twenty nationalized banks were able to show profit in both the years. This happened largely because banks were required to make large provisions for their irregular advances, which they had not been doing. Uh, before the introduction of the new norms. In 1994-95, the net profit of National Bank and Public Sector Bank was rupees 2,069 crore and rupees 116 crore respectively. The RBI annual report on 10 and uh, uh, progress of banking in India give the indication and the trends of profitability of different types of commercial banks. So we are talking about a state bank. A state Bank of India in the uh, its profit was 280 crore in 91-92 and uh, it was raised up to 66 six, it was 667 in 92-93 and it was to uh, 1238 in 93-94 and in uh, 2001 and 2 it was 4-5 one one point two crores. State Bank of India and the East Associate Bank, uh, there has been already uh, rise in net profit. In the case of Nestle Bank, if we are talking about Nestle Bank, um, profitability has already um, has always been quite low in comparison of SBI. Uh, they posted huge losses in initial reforms period. Thereafter, some positive indication found net profit of most of the public sector banks, including foreign banks, have shown improvement. This was mainly due to higher uh, provisioning of public sector banks on account of their Relatively, relatively higher bad and doubtful debts as well as higher provisioning on account of their larger investment portfolio, which was increasingly made marked to 
market over the year. In case of private sector banks, indicating increasing trend to net profit after reform period, the profitability of foreign banks also uh, profitability when we are talking about profitability of foreign banks, it has yeah, always yeah, been good. it has always been good. Uh, but in 92-93, these banks yeah, were yeah, caught yeah, in the yeah. securities scams. Yeah. Foreign banks were caught in the securities scams and suffered huge losses. Uh, but soon they recovered and have. Past impressive profit. So, फिर से उन्होंने अपना जो है profitability को gain कर लिया था. A comparison of profitability of uh, different kinds of banking system in India brings out clearly and the relatively true profitability of public sector banks. In fact, some of the public sector banks are deeply in the red. They define low profitability and poor financial conditions by referring to their deep commitment to social ob uh, obligations and which were open rural branches. And the setting of subsidiary regional rural branches. Financing, um, I... And... Other pro poverty al uh, alleviations programs at concessional rate of interest and priority sector lending to the extent uh, of 40% of total credit. These arguments hold well at the largely extent to the private sector schedule commercial banks, to uh, but these are making more profits than public sector banks. So uh, the, uh, when we are talking about profitability, uh, so, um, SBI was more uh, in profit uh, than in commercial banks and then uh, comes to public sector banks. Public sector banks have less profitability in comparison to uh, state bank and uh, this uh, commercial banks. Uh, so need of uh, why there is a need of financial sector comes the need of financial reforms has arisen because the financial institutions and market were in bad shape. The banks were running uh, either at a loss or a very low profit, and consequently were unable to provide adequately our loan defaults and build their capital. There had been organizational inadequacies, the weakening of management and control functions, the growth of restrictive practices, the creation of work culture and laws in credit management, the strain of the performance of the banks um, had emanated partly from the imposition of high CRR, SLR, and directed credit programs for the priority sectors, mm, all at subsidized interest rates. This adversely affected what was the effect? Uh, this adversely affected bank profitability, which resulted in depressed rate of depressed rates and deposits uh, further, the functioning of the financial sector and the credit de delivery process as well as recovery process has been uh, politicized, uh, which damaged the quality of lending. So, this all damaged the quality of lending. The by spread uh, write off of the loans had seriously jeopardized the viability of banks. A part of the reform since mid-1991 in the financial sector, domestic financial liberalization uh, has brought 
out the deregulation of interest rates, dismantling of directed credit, and uh, reforming the banking system, improving the functioning of the capital market, including the government securities market. The main emphasis on the financial sector reforms has been on the banking system. Uh, because banking system is a large part of the of our economy the major uh, ask before um, the major ta uh, ta uh, actually we now we will talk about the public sector banks so major task before the public sector banks psb um, was to improve their financial performance because their uh, financial per performance has been uh, very poor. The financial sector reforms have become inevitable to cope up uh, with the uh, ongoing reforms of early 90s in India. The Committee on the Financial Sector Reforms, headed by Narsimham, has placed greater emphasis on the steps as we have uh, seen in this while we are noting down the uh, recommendations of Narsimham Committee, the committee mm, has placed greater emphasis on the steps to the to be taken to improve financial health of banks and development of financial institutions uh, to make uh, them viable. Uh, economically and to function efficiently in order to serve the economy better and also to enhance competitive efficiency of the real sector. The committee uh, has undertaken a detailed study and suggested a number of policies and structural changes mean to improve the competitive efficiency, productivity, and uh, profitability of the financial system and to increase the flexibility uh, and autonomy of the functioning of the banks and in the development of financial institutions. The Committee on the Financial System and uh, particularly on the banking sector reforms has made 22 recommendations for improving the efficiency and profitability of the banks. The committee also included recommendations for the overall development of financial institutions, including capital mar market, as it is also a part of our financial sector. So mm, now uh, when we talking about its recommendations. Some of the recommendations of the committee are the speedy liberalization of uh, capital method, uh, capital method liberalization, the prior approval of any agency of any new issue from the capital market should be dispensed uh, with, and SBI should not be a substitute for uh, call out a market regulator and uh, then we talk about the other recommendations uh, that capital market should be gradually opened up to portfolio investment and the depth of the market should be increased by introducing new types of instruments with appropriate amount of stem duty act the entire financial sector consisting of banks, development of financial institutions, finance companies, merchant ba uh, banks, mm, higher purchasing companies should be brought under uh, supervisory agency of Reserve Bank of India. All the recommendations have been accepted uh, and some have been implemented and some are in the process of implementations. So when we are talking about uh, its uh, contribution in banking sector reforms, 
the process of reform of financial sector is initiated in the first and second phase. It is bona fide step taken by the policy makers to wipe out the rust of various financial institutions with a view to bring uh, about uh, a speedier course of transactions, greater transparency in operations, improved quantitative services, qualitative services to investor and greater investor protection on the one hand and encouraging the corporate sector to mobilize resources directly from the open market on a large scale to meet their financial requirements. Uh, the banking reform phase undergo then the macroeconomic crisis faced by the country 1991 paved the way for extensive financial sector reforms and a committee under the chairmanship of, as I have already told you, the chairmanship of M. Narsimham was appointed, which made the under uh, notes recommendations are as follows. Uh, and uh, some up recommendations, which I am again repeating in short, Rapid banks may enhance capital uh, through public issue and uh, no bar on entry um, of new private sector banks, liberal policy towards foreign banks, abolition of dual controls, uh, depoliticization of uh, chief executive in appointments, lower statutory liquidity ratio, Mm, uh, to, that is uh, 25% and CRR ratio to 10%. Phasing out concessional interest rate, new system for provision of debts, transparent balance sheet, special tribunals or recovery of dues, scrapping of branch licensing, no further nationalization of banks, RBI should be more liberal in allowing foreign banks to open branches. And now uh, we will talk about the impact of reforms. So what were the impact of reforms uh, on, the, on our economy at overall? So we will see. Uh, the ill health of the bank and financial institution have been uh, one of the important reasons for the initiation of the financial sector reforms and indicated by the extent of profits and the non-performing assets. The public sector uh, banks have been the major contributors in the past to the losses and uh, mounting non-performing assets incurred by the financial system. These indications, however, have shown some improvement in the recent years. Though there is much to be achieved, but the operating the net profits have recorded significant improvements. For instance, net profits as percent of total assets of all the public sector banks have moved up from uh, 0 0.27 in 91 to about uh, 0 0.6 in the late 1990s, thanks to the strict adherence to the capital adequacy and prudential norms and increased competition from the private sector. The extent of non-performing assets in the other important, uh, that is the other important indicator of the financial health, though the gross and the net non-performing assets of the scheduled commercial banks have gone up in the recent years, except foreign banks. Foreign bank ko chhod karke commercial bank ka jo performance tha wo rise kiya hai aur economy mein 
the same in the related terms, that is, as a percent of advances and total assets have shown declining trends. The, the gross non-performing assets as percent of uh, total assets have declined from 4% in 1995 to about 3% in the late 90s. One of the important plans of financial liberalization has been the dismantling of administered interest rate regime and the progressive movement towards market determined interest rate regime. The progress has been gradually but definite. It is not uh, uh, a very fast progress. It was gradually but definite progress. Uh, ever since the process began, there have been continuous uh, southward movement in the nominal rates. The process, uh, importantly, the real interest rate turned positive and are increasing, thus getting freedom from the clutches of the financial repression. Though the means high cost of funds for the corporate sector, there is no uh, cause of barriers. The corporate sector now has the option of raising funds from the capital market, both domestic and uh, international. Uh, moreover, the positive real interest rate has argued well for the savings as seen in the increase in private sector savings from about 20% in 99, uh, nine, in 91, 92, um, about 25% in 2000, 2001. In it, it is uh, from 20% to 25%. Uh, to, however, despite the widening and uh, deepening of the financial sector in India over the years, still the Indian financial sector suffers from some drawbacks also. What were those drawbacks? Firstly, there has been a steady erosion of operational efficiency in the financial sector despite uh, commendable progress. And secondly, uh, we can say that the financial sector in our country suffers from many shortcomings, such as insufficient banking system and mobilization of resources, inadequate operation in respect of rural areas and weaker sections, weak performance, low profitability rates, low efficiency, poor uh, 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 customer services in sufficient uh, care in section recruitment training and uh, promotion of staff laxity of the part of supervisory staff in order in other words uh, we find that uh, financial development in india has ignored the qualitative approaching uh, also, the Indian financial sector lacks uh, sufficient modernization and introduction of the portfolio quality. Uh, similarly, the capital markets, which have shown as impressive growth in the volume of uh, in uh, growth in the volume of operations, they have suffered from many deficiencies to re regard in their efficiency and the quality of their operations. So when we are talking about the uh, recommendations, some of the above reform recommended by the committee, recommended by the committee have been implemented in a phase number, but there are several areas where the reforms are yet to be implemented.
the financial sector reforms initiated since 92-93 have altered the course of working of public sector banks. However, there are some areas which affect the health of the public sector bank visualized non-performing assets, uh, unmissable operations at rural and semi-urban centers. And uh, um, the loss of making banks and branches are either to be closed or merged. Um, while over the years, both the banking system and the capital market have shown impressive growth in volume of operations. Uh, the supervisory system of the Reserve Bank of India is being strengthened with the establishment of new board of financial bank supervision with the Reserve Bank of India under the exclusive charge of deputy governor. The regulatory interest rate structure is being nationalized and simplified. Bank deposit rates have been deregulated subject to a ceiling rate. And some of the other measures adopted in pursuance of the reforms are doing uh, away with the licensing system for opening up of new bank branches and there, um, it means there is no need of license if you are going to open a, a new branch or bank and co and further liberalization of the capital and uh, framing rules of the CB at sector. More uh, freedom has been given to the banks in various fields of the operation. Uh, and uh, uh, the other reforms in the banking sector, the automation of the staff structure and restructure, which are going uh, on at present by introducing ATM and warranty retirement scheme. That is a scheme of the employees, the VRS scheme, uh, so, um, which is successfully uh, accepted in uh, State Bank of India. Uh, on 31 uh, January 2001, State SBI found to its uh, embarrassment that 33,000 of its uh, 2 lakh and 30,000 uh, people's um, employees, a strong workforce, have opted for the scheme of VRS. The large number of people opted out are mostly uh, they were of uh, below 55 years mm, but the bank decided to accept the cases uh, of those uh, who are above 55 years of the age so the number has cut down until 1991 there was little competition in the banking sector the public sector banks uh, dominating the bank industry in terms of size of assets acted as a monolith. The government has now recognized the need to make banking industry more competitive. It has thus made certain policy changes such as regulation of interest rates and dilution of consortium lending requirements. Moreover, banking has been uh, opened up to the private sector banks have started functioning. In all, 28 foreign banks are presently operating in India with a network of 15, uh, 15 uh, uh, 28 banks and 155 branches. With 155 branches, they are working. So foreign, uh, this is the condition of foreign banks. So public sector, it is also going from public sector to private sector. So we can say uh, the privatization of banks also performing uh, and despite the impressive qu uh, quantitative achievements in resource mobilization and extending the credit reach 
several distortions have crept into the financial systems, especially in respect of the allocation of financial resources, productivity and efficiency of the system have suffered. Uh, its profitability has been ended and its quality um, has uh, deteriorated. Low profitability, high and growing non-performing assets and relatively low capital base uh, has continued uh, to cause anxiety. In 1991-92, the gross profit uh, and scheduled commercial banks were 0.35% of working funds, the spread between interest earned and paid as a proportion of the working fund was 3.3% and the proportion uh, other expenses to working funds was 2.6% uh, during 1991 92 The rate of growing earnings has been uh, slower than the rate of uh, growth of business and working funds. The spread between interest earned and paid as a Proportion of working funds was 3.3% uh, and the proportion of other expenses to working funds was 2.06% during 91-92. The rate of growth of earning has been lower than the rate of growth of business and working fund. And uh, there um, have been a decline in the quality of loan assets in the light of internationally accepted standard relating to capital adequacy, bad debts, provision, uh, and uh, income regulations, the banking system is indeed bankrupt. So customer service has been poor. Work technology remain uh, outdated and transaction costs are high. The system have not been able to perform its vital functioning relating to um, resource base on second criteria improvement in the productive and investment efficiency of assigned enterprises. And uh, second, we can say that uh, reduction of transactions, cost, and risk of depositors borrowers and the financial institutions. So there are uh, both type of effects on the economy. Um, banking sector reforms, which started in uh, 91, um, and uh, it uh, uh, takes a speed uh, in 98. Uh, it has both uh, uh, type of uh, impact on the economy goods and bad, bad effects. Some drawbacks are there and some very good effects were there which improved the whole banking system and own financial system. So um, it is, uh, and the main uh, recommendations uh, were based on the Narsimham committee, which I, uh, you note down in the beginning. Uh, of this lecture. So, up kaisa kuch poochna hai aap logo ko usme? Nahi ma'am, aisa is kuch nahi hai. Usko aap padhaeng hai, hum log ab phir se padhenge. To agle class mein kuch chahar query hogi, to phir baat karenge aap se. Ha, isko aap log dekhi ga aur agar kuch bhi jara bhi isme doubt ho to phir ये पब्लिक सेक्टर रिफॉर्म का ये जो फाइनेंशियल रिफॉर्म या बैंकिंग सेक्टर रिफॉर्म रह गया था वो मैंने आज कंप्लीट किया है और अब अगर आपका नेक्स्ट जो यूनिट है वो फॉरेन ट्रेड का है फिफ्थ यूनिट तो भी नेक्स्ट सेक्टर भी भी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फॉरेन ट्रेड यस मैम यस उसमें अगर कोई समस्या हो इस लेक्चर से रिलेटेड तो हम लोग मैम उस लेक्चर में शुरू में ही आपसे पूछेंगे ऑफ कोर्स यस मैम जो भी मेरे तीन लेक्चर हुए हैं अभी तक शुरू का हुआ था तो उसमें एलपीजी और मार्केटाइजेशन के बारे में बताया था फिर मैंने इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन के बारे में बताया था आप लोगों को फिर आज बैंकिंग सेक्टर रिफॉर्म्स के बारे में बताया है 
तो आप जो भी हो मैं तो कभी भी पूछ सकते हैं तो मेरा नंबर है आप कभी भी कोई भी इंक्वायरी यस मैम नंबर है आपका हाँ और आप लोग अपना इंट्रोडक्शन तो दे दीजिए समीर कुमार गुप्ता असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इकोनॉमिक्स भारतीय महाविद्यालय फरुखाबाद में हूँ फरुखाबाद में वेरी गुड आई यस आई बिलोंग नहीं आप पीएचडी एच आपने सिद्दीकी सर के अंडर में किया है लेकिन वो बहुत पहले ही उसके पहले ही रिटायर्ड हो गए थे तो ये मेरा दुर्भाग्य कही है कि मैं उनसे अभी तक नहीं मिल पाया हूँ उनसे गाइडलाइन नहीं मैं आप कर पाया मैं हाँ नहीं वो बहुत अच्छे सर मैं एक बार मिल चुकी हूँ सर से अच्छा वो आर यू शुटी मैम आई एम ऑल्सो असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इकोनॉमिक्स फ्रॉम फरुखाबाद ओ इन विच कॉलेज एन ए के पी पी जी कॉलेज में एन ए के पी पी है आप अच्छा फरुखाबाद तो हमारे घर है हमारे मौसा जी डॉक्टर कृष्ण दीक्षित वहाँ प्रिंसिपल रह चुके हैं मंत्री विशाल में मैम कभी टाइम हो तो टाइम निकाल के आइएगा कॉलेज हम लोग का सौभाग्य होगा अभी भी हमारे कजिन वगैरह रहते हैं फरुखाबाद में और फतेहगढ़ में भी घर है हमारा बिल्कुल आप लोग कांटेक्ट में रहिएगा हमेशा और बताइएगा मैम तो मिलिएगा जरूर हाँ बिल्कुल बिल्कुल नेहा आप बताइए आप कहा से हैं मैम मैं कानपुर से हूँ और मैं पी एच डी कर रही हूँ कानपुर यूनिवर्सिटी से और मैम मैं प्रेपरेशन कर रही हूँ एग्जाम की एग्जाम से आप लोग अपना बनाइए टॉपिक चूज करिए और लिखना शुरू करिए और फिर ठीक है हम लोग मिलते रहेंगे और आगे गाइडलाइंस भी मिलती रहेंगी आपको रोमी आप रोमी का और आगे और कौन है राम है राम आप कहा से हैं मैम हम अयोध्या से हैं और ये पीजी यहाँ बनारस सिंधु यूनिवर्सिटी से किया और अभी तो कानपुर में ही है चलिए दो हजार ग्यारह में राज्यपाल पुरस्कार उस समय बनवारी लाल जोशी थे समाज सेवा के क्षेत्र में मिला था और वेरी गुड वेरी गुड और करिश्मा आप शायद मेरी मुलाकात हो चुकी है फोन पर जी मैम जी मैम फोन पे आपसे मेरी बात हुई थी आप डीपीएस में हैं जी मैम जी मैम मैं वहाँ इलेवन ट्वेल्थ इकोनॉमिक्स लेती हूँ हाँ चलिए अच्छा है आप लोग तो जुड़े रहिए और कौन है भाई हमारे इसमें नया भी है मैम मैं यूथ में पी एच डी कोर्स कर रही हूँ और पीजीटी और इसका कम्पटेटिव कोर्स में यही सब ज्वाइन किया है आपको पता है मैं भी साइंस की स्टूडेंट थी एम एस सी के बाद मैंने इकोनॉमिक्स में एम ए किया आई वॉज एम एस सी जूलॉजी एंड उसके बाद मुझे लगा की मुझे इकोनॉमिक्स पढ़ना थी मैंने इकोनॉमिक्स पढ़ा और फिर मैंने इकोनॉमिक्स और पीएचडी की मुझे इतना अच्छा ये सब्जेक्ट लगा मुझे लगा कि अगर मैं इकोनॉमिक्स नहीं पढ़ती तो मैं कुछ जान ही नहीं पाती कि मेरे आसपास की दुनिया है क्या <laughs> आसपास की दुनिया को जानने के लिए आपको इकोनॉमिक्स पढ़ना बहुत जरूरी है और मेरा भी सेम एक्सपीरियंस है की मैंने सडनली बी ए किया फिर इकोनॉमिक्स की तो मुझे लगता है आर्ट्स का सबसे बढ़िया सभी सब्जेक्ट अच्छे हैं सबका अपना अपना वो है लेकिन इकोनॉमिक्स तो रियली बहुत ही अच्छा सब्जेक्ट है बहुत बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है चलिए आप लोग टच में रहिएगा भैया हाँ जी मैम जी मैम का क्लास फाइंड अप करते हैं और अब हमारा क्लास ट्वेंटी फोर्थ को होगा ट्वेंटी को फरवरी को है मेरा